welcome to the new relatives of the reporting station in Los Angeles reporting to you live to show you everything about weather. Before I do the weather forecast, I will discuss two things. The layer of the atmosphere, the atmosphere and the global warming. The first layer is the troposphere, right there. This is the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere. Almost all weather occurs here. Also, the tip of the Mount Everest reaches into the troposphere. So here to here is where the Mount Everest tip is. Next comes the stratosphere. This is where aircraft flies and where the ozone layer is. This is where we get protected from the sun rays. The mesosphere is where sun and rocket rockets finally go down to where Earth is and where meteor melts and dissolves so Earth can be protected. So here, where you see meteorites, this is where meteors will dissolve when meteor comes down to Earth. So that's why you, there's rarely meteorites crashing down to Earth's surface. So if there's a big meteor coming down, it won't dissolve it because it's not like this kind of speck of meteorite. Coming down, it just dissolves a little bit of it and then like the moon. The moon crashes and then uh, um, the mesosphere is where the aurora borealis forms and where space station and other air spacecraft spend their time. So right here is where the use, um, you see in the air pole, the aurora borealis, um, and that is, um, it's like lights, it's like a light show, and, um, and it's where um, space station and spacecraft stay or spend time to go up to exosphere to, um, to whatever. The exosphere is where the satellites over the Earth. So this orbits the Earth, orbits the Earth to detect things, which I have no idea which, what this is a tap. Okay, next I want to discuss, quickly discuss global warming. Global warming is caused by car TVs, green, greenhouse grasses, and much more. These things are caused problems all over the world. The North and South Pole have melting glaciers. Melting glaciers can cause sea level to rise up. And this is a problem because if the sea level is rising up. Some areas will be flooded and some areas will be caught off like right here or like like right here or something like that. Drinkable water is getting evaporated and will not participate, which means it will not rain down. And because of that, there are dangerous heat waves and will cause forest fire and could cause food shortage. And forest fires makes animals run away from their forest and when animals run away to the forest they go somewhere else but if they have nowhere to live they'll die so that makes us not have that much food for uh, for winter or summer or spring or fall um now over to brian in the uk right here in london at another news station i'm going to tell you about the Air pressure in the United Kingdom. The air pressure is high and the uh, it's high in in California it, where Jose is. The air pressure is low. Okay, now back to Jose in, in sunny Los Angeles. Okay, now that we're back, let's look at the weather today. Today, Friday, May 19, in Los Angeles, this could be sunny with the highs of six. 86 and the lows of 61 degrees. Some Saturday, the 20, 20s, looks like it's going to be also sunny with the highs of 80, 89 and with lows of 64. Sunday, the 21s, 
looks like it also could be sunny with a high of 89 and with the lows of 62. Now let's check in Brian and Brian and take a look at the weather on the other side of the world. Today is Friday, May 19th and London it looks like it will be rainy with a play of 61 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturday the 20th looks like there is going to be a thunderstorm with highs of 61 and lows of 49. Sunday the 21st looks like it looks like it is going to be mostly sunny the highs of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 48 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hope you learned some some new things from this weather cast. This is Jose reporting from Los Angeles and Grand Frontier's reporting from London. Have a great day everyone out there and I'll see you later.